What's up Crown Fit crew? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, we're out here again. Just want to say before we start the video, thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button. We're at 9,100, one step closer to 10,000. So cannot wait for that. That bird just scared the crap out of me. But anyway, as you guys can see by today's uh, title and thumbnail, we're going to be um, talking about what my car was when it was in service. Now, I did a video like this with my Crown Vic. I basically searched for clues and stuff like that. We're going to do the same thing here, even though I already know what my car looked like and what it was when it was in service. Because this time around, when I did buy my Taurus, I did look at the Carfax, um, which does tell you, you know, where it was bought, where it was, you know, you know which city it was, you know, serviced in. Um, I did not do that with my Crown Vic because number one, I really didn't think about it at the time. And uh, number two, when I bought my Crown Vic, I didn't have a YouTube channel, so um, I didn't really just think about that at all. And uh, with my Crown Vic, it was a little bit harder. I never really found out what my Crown Vic was when it was in service. Um, out of clues and, and stuff I found in my Crown Vic, I kind of came up with the conclusion that it's most likely uh, was a Boston Transit police cruiser, um, but it wasn't 100% official. This time, I know what it is. Okay, also before I start as well, I just want to show you guys what I added to the back. Added two uh, puck antennas, one there, one there, again, just for show, They're just magnetized. But yeah, I just added that little uh, touch to the back. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, nothing too crazy. Like I said, again, just gonna keep it low profile. All right, so while I'm also uh, talking about this, I'm gonna tell you guys you know, how you can uh, search for clues um, to maybe you know what unit number your car was, uh, where your car was when it was in service, stuff like that. Um, in case you guys want to look for yourself. So the first thing, let's just start off what my car was when it was in service. It was a Williamsport, Pennsylvania police cruiser. So my car was a black and white. Um, and I actually had a hard time believing that my car was a black and white because usually you can tell. Immediately I, when I opened the hood and I noticed that you know the inner panels and everything are not black usually with a black and white you would think okay this panel would be black you know the the bumper would be black you know what i mean and usually when they repaint it they don't take everything off to repaint all the insides they just paint the outside and that's it however so as soon as i saw that i was a little skeptical like okay maybe my car wasn't from this place and then i started doing a little bit more research and south williamsport pennsylvania actually has all white cruisers however they only have one spotlight they don't have dual spotlights and I did not see any Tauruses. Um, so I was like, okay, this is a little weird. So, so I kept looking and I kept looking and I actually found a wrecked um, cruiser from Williamsport, a black and white. And I noticed that the wrecked cruiser in the back, now mind you, it was black and white. So this part uh, was black and the light was actually out. And I noticed when the light was actually out, all the inner parts were all white, which means that that when the car was in service or when it was getting prepared for service, they just painted the outside black, which means the whole panel wasn't ordered in black, if that makes sense. So this, so technically they ordered the car all in white and then they just painted, you know, the parts that they needed to in black, which made a lot more sense to me. I was like, okay, so that, that makes a lot more sense of, you know, why the hood is all white underneath and why the jams and everything are all white. So that's why that's like that, if that makes any sense. That's my car when it was in service, right there. Williamsport Police. Williamsport, Pennsylvania Police. You guys can see it was a black and white. Sorry for the for the glare there. I just kind of want to show you guys the side by side. You can see that they did a very good job repainting it. There's no like decal or anything left over. So they did a very, 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 very good job repainting. It's a lot better than my Crown Vic. Now usually with um, some of the cars that they retire when they repaint it um you'll see you know some residue you'll see some of the stickers like residue almost uh, my buddy who had a crown fic you can see his unit number i think on his um explorer as well you can kind of see the the unit number just very barely or it says i forgot what it was but they did a very very good job repainting this and i'm happy because i don't want any you know leftover you know markings of stickers or anything like that but all around they painted it very very well um, and the car's in good shape, so. And they left a couple of things in it. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, that this car was all the way from Pennsylvania, so it traveled a long way to get here. It's really, really cool. Um, like 90% of the departments, if not all the departments in my, in my area, do not have dual spotlights. So um, it's something really unique, something really cool. Plus they're LED. Um, this car's got a little bit of history coming all the way down here, you know. 
being where it was and, and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. I love driving it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I know that my car came from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, I know it was one of their cruises. I was trying to find out unit number. Now, um, there's some ways that you can find out what unit number your car was. Usually departments will write it um, sometimes in various locations. I've noticed one thing inside. That they wrote 63 on the visor. 63 right there and also 63 over there as well. Hinting possibly to a unit number, but let's check the hood real quick because my Crown Vic actually had the unit number on the uh, fuse box. They actually wrote it in chalk. But as you can see here, there's no markings like that at all on my Crown Vic. This is the fuse box they wrote. I believe it was 73 on my Crown Vic. Usually they write that for like unit number and stuff. They'll, they'll mark it somewhere. But nothing like that around here. So that's also one way you guys can check. Um, check, you know, the engine bay, see if there's any markings or writings on there. Usually uh, they do, uh, at least for my Crown Vic anyway. Or check your visor, because I mean, I guess the visors have unit numbers on them. But I tried looking at the unit number, I tried looking up Williamsport, Pennsylvania, unit number 63, and nothing came up. I saw one that was sold for auction. I saw one that was an auction listing, um, and it was unit number 63. It looked almost identical to my identical to my car. The mileage was right about the same. Everything looked exactly the same. And I kept looking at pictures and more and more in detail, like, wow, this could actually be my car. And then I noticed one thing that drove me away instantly. And that was this part right here. So you guys can see this is black. In the images that they had there, it was white. So instantly I was like, okay, that kid, it's definitely not my car. And I thought I was onto something. Or maybe that's not even the unit number. That's that's the first thing I guess maybe that has something to do with something else but that's the first thing that pops up to my mind is possible unit number however like I said again I looked up unit number 63 there was a car Williamsport Pennsylvania um, Taurus that was sold for auction but there was a couple that like I said again the differences in the inside that uh, the like center console area so that's one good way right there if you guys want to check out what your car was when it was in service uh, you want to check out the unit number possibly you just check those areas uh, check just common areas like the engine bay see if there's anything in there inside uh, the trunk you'll see unit numbers sometimes written somewhere I mean it, it's very different depending on where your car was when it was in service and stuff like that where it came from I mean some don't write unit numbers anywhere some they write unit numbers over here like it's just it's just something you just have to take uh, a good you know 10 15 minutes to really scope out your car and check it and see if you see any clues like that you can see right here this is most likely where they had the gun rack uh, this is definitely not here you can see that they cut this but um not sure what that was for and then the wires for um the strobes in the back I actually ran them through they actually go into the cabin somehow so they might be connected to this right here um, one of these wires over here must be it so I'm not really good with wiring and stuff like that I'll probably have my buddies hook it up like I said again just for test purposes to see how it is and all that stuff But uh, I think it was pretty cool how they left those in there. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly really surprised Just check also the sides of your car as well Sometimes you'll see uh, just a little reflection unless they painted it really good You're not gonna see it But sometimes you see a little reflection of the unit number depending on where it is Sometimes they put unit numbers in the back sometimes over here in the on the back panel or sometimes over here on the front panel on the side so just check those areas um also another good way to, to to look at clues and stuff is just go through your car that's also another way to find out good clues that's how i found out clues about my crown vic check underneath the seats um all out through in here uh check the back check the back as well underneath the seats underneath here uh sometimes the officers leave paper receipts stuff like that they can hint to where your car was uh, when it was in service and it's not really rocket science it's not not really a secret to it so um yeah just uh go through your car um check it out see if you see any cool stuff um in all honesty when i was searching for my crown vic i wasn't expecting to find a pizza uh menu underneath the seat uh which hinted that you know it was possibly a boston transit police cruiser because that's where the pizza place was it was from up near boston so i kind of hinted to that so little hints like that can lead to um you know the conclusion of where your car was when it's in service so i'm happy this time around to actually know what my car was when it was in service it's really really cool to to kind of have it side by side and, and see where my car was stationed and, and all that so it's really really cool that um i have the knowledge this time around uh, versus my crown vic i really didn't know 
uh, where my crown of it came from 100% officially anyway. So uh, it's really cool to know that this came all the way from Pennsylvania, Williamsport uh, Police, Pennsylvania. So really cool. Uh, they took very, very good care of it. I mean, you guys can see this car is immaculate. Almost looks brand spanking new. Like I've said multiple times, uh, the tires are, I mean, this like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the tread on it is insane. The rims are like brand new. They took very, very good care of this car. Um, so shout out to them for uh, taking care of my car. Well, what was once theirs but um yeah it's awesome so now we're going to talk about uh some of the stuff that they left inside the car which is pretty damn cool now i did search uh all throughout the car uh, to see if i found any paperwork receipts stuff like that nothing they definitely wiped this car out clean they did a very very good job of doing that either they did it or the person who decommissioned it did a very very good job as well for the paint job so thank you for that but they did leave some stuff in my car and i've mentioned this before uh strobe lights they left in my car as you guys can see right there in the front and those look like uh pretty expensive strobes as well they left them in the front on this side and on that side as well as in the back and like i said i've mentioned this before but as you can see right there as well they left the strobes in the back right there so one of these days i want to hook them back up just to see what color they are it would be cool if they are uh, red and blue obviously i don't have any plans on keeping them you know hooked up just for you know test purposes and stuff like that but it's pretty cool that uh they did leave the strobes in there so which I, i'm really surprised i'm also really surprised that they left these spotlights on here i'm surprised they didn't take them off because these are uh pretty expensive i believe they're like 360 dollars for the whole assembly times two um, so i'm surprised they left that on there. that's really really cool they did take the push bar however um but um overall i love the car inside as well as you guys can see very clean in the back as well don't mind the car seat it's my brother's car seat again but yeah i mean they, they maintain this car extremely well i mean i was surprised this is probably easily the cleanest uh cop car um i've ever seen like ever so it, it i mean it's crazy they definitely took very very good care of it so um like i said again shout out to them for taking care of their cruisers so okay so this next thing is actually really cool something i've noticed as well you flip this little switch down here turn the car on I'm going to go outside and uh, show you guys what else they left in this car. Yep, that's right. They left the sirens in there. I could not believe it either. So yeah, I was talking to someone. The little switch underneath there, you flip it. And then these controls over here... Uh, activates the different ones and then you just click the the horn a couple of times and it'll cycle through all of them and it also has a rumbler as well so i was surprised that they uh they push bar they couldn't leave the push bar but they left the strobe lights the siren i also want to tell you guys that that was also 100 percent edited <laughs> you serious yes what you guys just heard is all 100 percent edited and that is a hint to something that's coming new to my channel uh, i tease this over on instagram which is mini skits um, I'm gonna have a video explaining what it is um, and all that stuff. It's gonna be something really, really cool and something different. I don't think any other YouTuber has done something like this. Uh, so I think it's gonna be definitely something new, gonna bring a lot of new people to the channel. It's gonna be something that's gonna take a little bit of editing, a little bit of work, a little bit of scripting, I think. But I think it's gonna be really, really cool. I think it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait to do it. But yeah, that was just kind of a little sneak peek of what's to come. Like I said, again, I have a video up explaining what it is and all that stuff. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what my car was when it was in service. Like I said again, if you guys want to officially 100% find out what your car was when it was in service, definitely go to the Carfax. So let me know down below in the comments what your car was when it was in service. I know a lot of you guys had some uh, cool comments when I did uh, this video on my Crown Vic. Some of you guys had like detectives, state police cars, really, really cool. So uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. I love reading the comments and stuff like that, but uh, yeah. So there you guys have it, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, police cruiser right here. Thank you guys so much for keeping it clean and uh, awesome for me. So I'm going to end the video off here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to stay tuned for the, uh, the mini skit video. It's going to be coming up soon. And I actually might film it right after this one. So you guys might see the same setting. But uh, yeah, anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one.